In this lecture, I'm going to talk about the difference between inductive and deductive research. This was one of the more complicated concepts that I myself had, uh, you know, trouble understanding. And so I, I'm going to, it took me a while to learn this, so I understand if this is um, kind of a, a difficult concept for you to understand who. Uh, hopefully I can uh, explain it to you that in, in a way that um, helps you um, learn it a little bit quicker than I did. Uh, so before we talk about like the difference between inductive and deductive research, I want to introduce you to the research circle. The research circle is a, a process is a, a visual diagram that represents the the research process and there are there are four basic components of the research process theory which represents a, a set of ideas that help you explain a particular social phenomenon um, a hypothesis which is a, a testable prediction about the relationship between uh, two or more variables empirical observations things that you um, pick out and identify or can label in the social world and then analysis things like statistics and and qualitative uh, data analysis where you're um, analyzing um, th themes from interviews or observations or using statistics to identify patterns um, but uh, within numerical data, so these are these are the different components of the research pro pro process. Inductive and deductive research um, specify kind of where you begin on this research project, where where your research journey starts. Uh, that is really what distinguishes inductive from deductive uh, research, because in inductive research you begin with a research question and that research question guides your collection of empirical data which you then use to generate a, a testable hypothesis or a tentative hypothesis which you um, confirm with additional data and then that that data becomes the basis uh, for forming a, a social theory um, a set of ideas uh, that you can use to explain your topic um, so with inductive research, you're beginning by collecting data. Um, so you're you're collecting empirical observations about the social world. Based on those empirical observations, you're forming a hypothesis, which you then use to test with additional data to develop a theory. So in inductive research, you're beginning with empirical observations. Now that differs from deductive research, in which you're actually you begin by reviewing a particular social theory um, and based on that theory you form a hypothesis which you then test with empirical data um, and either confirm or refute that hypothesis based on your analysis of that data so deductive research approaches begin with a, a theory driven hypothesis um, so there might be an existing theory to explain a particular topic and you form a hypothesis that's based on that theory which then guides your data collection and analysis so you might um, design a particular survey to collect information about a set of variables in your hypothesis uh, which you then analyze and and either and that feeds back to the theory so you might um, add to or maybe revise a particular theory based on your analysis. Now let me give you some examples of, of inductive and deductive research uh, approaches. An example of an inductive research uh, question might be how do undergraduate students view the causes of homelessness? What do they perceive as the solutions to homelessness? Um, so, you know, rather than um, identifying a, an existing social theory, uh, this, in, with, with this research question, you might begin by collecting data from a, gr a group of undergraduate students and really try to understand how they view the causes of homelessness. What do they perceive as the solutions to homelessness? So this was a, a published uh, art article in the Journal of Poverty uh, recently. Um, and, and this is inductive because you're, you're beginning by um, 
with a set of, uh, you're, you're beginning by collecting data. Um, you're interviewing students and under, trying to understand how they um, view the causes of homelessness and how they view the solutions. And then, and then these observations uh, might lead you to develop a hypothesis where you uh, test with data and you use that information to develop a theory. So it's inductive because you're starting with the data collection. Now deductive, uh, an example of a research question that's more deductive in nature is are, are perceptions of discrimination among young adults related to psychological distress? And does discrimination help to explain racial differences in, in depressive symptoms? Uh, so this, this research question is deductive because it actually, um, these research questions and the hypotheses that uh, can be formulated from the research question are, are sort of um, drawing from an existing social theory. Uh, it's actually the stress process theory that specifies um, how stress is related to health and um, how social characteristics uh, affect exposure to stress and how personal social resources moderate the relationship between stress and health. And so based on the stress process theory, um, this researcher um, was able to conduct a study to form a hypothesis about one form of social stress discrimination and how it relates to uh, psychological distress. So this was deductive research in the sense that there was an existing social theory, the researcher formed a hypothesis, uh, collected data um, in, in the form of a survey, um, and, and used that data to um, analyze and test that hypothesis and update existing social theory.